Hi everyone, it's uh, Nikki Gordon Bloomfield here from Transport Evolved. Um, I just wanted to make another quick video, and I'm aware that this is another vloggy type video that's not scripted, but there's a real reason behind this, and it concerns Patreon and the way that Transport Evolved is supported. For those who have supported me on Patreon for the last two years now, thank you very much for your support. It really has helped me grow as a business and grow Transport Evolved. Um, and to this point, up to this point, Patreon has collected all the donations from all of the supporters. And then at the end of every month, um, they've paid me. That's how it works. And as part of that process, Patreon deducts fees from my effectively my kitty um, and I get somewhere between 85 and 90 percent depending on the month and how much has been pledged that I get to keep. The rest Patreon um, uses uh, both as fees for itself so it takes a cut. Um, it also uses some of that money to pay VAT in Europe which I'll come to in a second and also the payment processor so the person who moves the money from Patreon to my bank account they also take a cut. Now, on December 18th, it's changing. Instead of me having um, to, to pay at the back end, uh, Patreon is changing it so that patrons pay a fee in addition to their pledge, um, which goes towards um, covering their costs, and I end up taking more of the money for myself. So in some ways it's a good thing for me, but it's a bad thing for patrons. And in the last 24 hours, I've had uh, 10 patrons drop off um, because they said they don't wanna pay uh, additional fees for Patreon. Patreon are terrible, they're not engaging anymore, they're not gonna support me. Um, and I've also had people reach out and say, hey, will you take money, will you take donations via PayPal, will you take donations via Bitcoin, etc, etc. Um, now, at the moment, um, I'm committed to staying with Patreon. Now, the reason being um, that while Patreon does take a fee and it's part of its business plan, Patreon also takes care of uh, VAT payments for me. You see, under European law, wherever you are in the world, if you are supplying goods and or services to a member of the European Union, i.e. a citizen or a resident of an EU country, you have to add tax onto that goods and or service. You have to add value added tax. Now, each of the member countries has a different VAT scheme. They have a different amount of VAT that they charge on goods and services. And under law, um, if I am selling goods and services to those countries, I have to collect VAT from those people. I then have to register to pay VAT in every single country of the European Union that I have a supporter who lives in. And then at the end of every year, I have to file taxes for that country and pay the VAT to that country for the goods and services that I've sold to residences, residents of those countries. So in other words, I would have to keep records of every person who donates, where they live, um, how much they've paid, how much tax I've collected from them, and then I need to pay that tax at the end of the year. Now, Patreon does that all automagically. I don't have to worry about that at all. Um, Patreon sits in the middle and takes care of VAT payments for all European patrons. Now. I don't like the fact that you have to pay VAT, but it's the law, and even though I'm outside of Europe, even though I live in America, I am a, an American um, green card holder, I live in the US, yes, I'm a British citizen, but that doesn't sort of have any impact here, it still means that I have to take VAT payments um, I have to, sorry, I have to take, I have to charge VAT and then at the end of the year I have to pay it back. Now it doesn't matter where you live in the world, if you're doing business with somebody who lives in Europe, those are the rules. And so I don't have the time or the skills, I don't have an accountant that is versed in VAT law, I would have to get all of those things and sign up for all of those services and spend literally days going through my, my tax records to make sure that I was 
in compliance with those VAT laws. If I wasn't in compliance with those VAT laws, then really bad things could happen to me in terms of, you know, when I go home, landing at the British airport and then have someone say, you owe us tax or any European country. And I don't want to get into that position. So that's why for now, I'm staying with Patreon. Now, the other thing, as I said, to remember is that the amount of fees being paid is actually less now than it used to be, at least that's my understanding of it. The difference is that you pay the fee rather than I pay the fee. The same is true of uh, PayPal, you know, if you send money to someone through PayPal, um, then you either get to choose to pay the fee yourself or the person that you're sending the money to pays the fee. Um, so it's the same kind of thing going on with PayPal that we have with Patreon. Um, the fees are slightly different, I'll grant you, but that's where it's going. Now, the other thing to bear in mind about this all is that you could just change your Patreon pledge down. So um, I would much rather everybody who's donating $5 a month, rather than go, I'm not paying those extra fees, brings their donation down so that the total amount they pay is still $5. I will still get the same amount of money at the end of it than I would if you donated $5 and then paid the fee. So donate less than $5 and the fee, add that up to $5. It's gonna be like $4 and something. We're all happy, I still get supported, you still get to support me, I'm still protected from VAT law. And additionally, um, I don't have to worry about all of these other payment systems like uh, Bitcoin and or uh, PayPal. The other reason why I'm not keen on using PayPal and or Bitcoin is that those have weird tax implications depending on where your business is based, depend on where the customer is based and uh, PayPal is the easier one but PayPal doesn't take into consideration those VAT payments. Uh, Bitcoin however uh, causes problems with the IRS, they don't like it so for now because I'm a small operation, because it's just me, I'm gonna stick with Patreon, but please don't delete your pledge. Just move your pledge down. That's fine, and at the end of the day, we'll get the same amount of money out of it. Thank you for watching. Please leave any comments and suggestions below. Um, as I said earlier on this week, I am sorry that we haven't done many videos this week. I'm editing the uh, 2018 Nissan Leaf video right now. I'm writing the script for tomorrow's TEN, which I'm also doing at the moment, and I'm planning for CES. We've got three people going to CES. Um, it's taken me three hours thus far to get all the calendars um, synced up, and we're only on day two. So there's lots of kind of behind the scenes stuff going on right now so that we can produce more content next year. Um, I had meetings with lots of different uh, people yesterday about the new facilities. So thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting. Keep evolving.